Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today we're traveling to 1961 to discover stroganoff beef burgers. Oh, you're gonna love them. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. I've got another quickie for you. So today, oh, we're gonna come back to one of my favorite cookbooks. Let me show you. Yeah, do oh, you remember it? You remember it? You remember it? Better Homes and Gardens Casserole Cookbook, 1961. I just can't get enough of this book. It's just fabulous. So today, we're gonna make something called stroganoff beef burgers, which is really a take on the Sloppy Joe idea. And if you don't know the history of Sloppy Joe, oh, this is one of my number one videos. I've got all the history and I will make you one of the original recipes. So let's get started. I have in a very large and very warm skillet, one pound of ground beef. And we're just gonna break that up and put it in there and it's gonna start to sizzle and brown and do its ground beef thing. But we're not done with the protein. <laughs> You're gonna love this. To this one pound of ground beef comes three strips, oh yeah, see how finely chopped I chopped it? Bacon. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Any day that bacon is involved is a happy day. Okay, so now this recipe is so easy. We're gonna go ahead and brown our beef and brown our bacon, and we'll be right back when that happens. Okay, so here is our ground beef all brown. The bacon is not 100% cooked, but you don't have to worry about that because it's still gonna cook further. Okay, to this glorious mixture, you're gonna add one half cup of chopped onions. You wanna chop them pretty fine. And into the pot they go. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook this until the onions are translucent, not brown. You just want them kind of soft. This dish is so perfect. It is budget friendly. It is kid friendly. It is make your family happy. <laughs> and it tastes great. It has all the flavors of beef stroganoff. By the way, this really isn't beef stroganoff. This is beef stroganoff. If you wanna know real beef stroganoff and how that came about and all the stories behind it, I've got you covered too with a fabulous, fabulous beef stroganoff recipe and all the history, of course. But for right now, let's let these onions cook down and I'll be right back. Okay, our onions have cooked down. They're very happy and tender and saying, hello bacon, hello beef, and everyone's happy. So now, as you can see, it did leave quite a bit of grease. And by the way, I used an 80-20 ground beef, which is perfect for this. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this and I will be right back. Okay, here we are, all drained and happy. Now we're gonna add those classic stroganoff flavors to this beautiful mix. I'm gonna let it cook for a few minutes and we are gonna be done. Okay, so now the recipe says to cook slowly. In 1960 speak, that means churn your flame or your heat to low. And you're just gonna let it kind of settle in. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna take one and a half tablespoons of flour. And for those of you that don't wanna do a half a tablespoon, it's four and a half teaspoons three quarter teaspoon salt, one quarter teaspoon pepper, and of course, quarter teaspoon paprika, because what would a good stroganoff be without paprika? And now we're just gonna blend all these spices and flowers right in, just like that. And you just wanna make sure everything is blended well so you don't like have little clumps of seasoning, especially the flour. You wanna get that flour all around to kind of coat the meat because that's gonna be what? Oh yeah, your thickener. All right, so I think this is pretty well combined. Now to this, we are gonna add the classic, classic 1960s ingredient, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and in it goes. All right, so pretty much all we're gonna do here is mix this around and get it all incorporated. And then we're gonna cook it slowly. <laughs> very slowly for 20 minutes uncovered. So I'm gonna get this all incorporated. So as you can see with the flour, it's gonna be a thick mixture that hopefully will stay on your bun. <laughs> but it is a sloppy thing and it is fabulous. Okay, we're all incorporated. I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes and I will be back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and we've just let it cook very slowly and gently and you do wanna stir this frequently. So don't kind of put it in your pan and go away for 20 minutes. Come back and say hello every now and then. 
And as you can see, our meat mixture got pretty thick, which is exactly what you want. Now the last thing we're gonna add, it would not be stroganoff or stroganoff <laughs> without sour cream. So we are gonna put one cup of sour cream right in our mixture. Now what you wanna do is you do not wanna turn up your heat. You just wanna cook this very slowly and let it incorporate and heat through and that's all you wanna do. You don't want it to boil because it will curdle and that will be very, very gross. So because our flame is so low, it's gonna take a few minutes. So just gently, gently stir. And by the way, I have hamburger buns toasted at the ready. So I'm gonna finish this off and we'll be right back when it's time to put everything together. So it's been about two minutes and that's it. You are done. The cream has heated through. The meat is super happy and all the flavors are going, hey, we are super happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and bring in our burger buns. By the way, you can also serve this over toast and do kind of like the knife and fork kind of action. All that's left <laughs> is to make your burgers. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. So as you can see, it's a little bit more solid than a sloppy joe. And, but <laughs> definitely serve your forks with it. And there you go. Family friendly, kid super friendly, budget super friendly. Fabulous taste, absolutely fabulous taste. You're gonna love it, I do. <laughs> and there we go, how's that? They are absolutely gorgeous, delicious, and I hope you give it a try and tell your friends from 1961. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. It's always such an honor to have you join me. Enjoy eating the past, and I will see you in the next video.